play. Team up three right here. Breaking out of the 90s. Go! Boom. There you go. Good. Fight through it. Fight through it. I need you to put forward. Let's go. Good. Snap it. Good. Hey, Burke, keep that off hand on the ball now. You hear me? Burke, keep it off hand on the ball. Let's go. Hey, stop. Stop. We both go at the same time. This guy has the cadence every time for three years. There you go. Get that first step, Clayton. Stop, Clayton. Go. Verbalize your, verbalize your read. And it is about details. It's about doing the little things right. And for instance, okay, we talked. I was talking to Brewer about keeping his offhand on the ball. Well, we do that for two reasons. Number one, we do it because it's the ball is much more secure with two hands than it is one. And the other reason is because your offhand you use it to push the ball back to throw it. So a lot of times, if you don't have your offhand on the ball, your release can get long. Get out. You're dead. Switch sides this time. All right, come on, Tucker. You gotta hit it. You gotta hit it. Here we go. Bow, bow mesh, bow mesh. Bow mesh. Bow mesh. Here we go. Ball still, Brewer. Ball still. We're continuing to work the point and slide drill. And another, just a fundamental deal there with Brewer, uh, talking about keeping your ball still in the drop. When you keep your ball still, what you want is when you take your three or your five step drop, you want that ball to stay right here on the neck. And if it's moving, and that's what, that's what Michael was doing on that play, the ball is moving. The more movement you have, the less, the more movement is the, is the more opportunity to make a mistake. Okay, so the less movement, your ball still, you got the same release every time. Now, safety's the 50 backer, front set right, 50, you're the 10, okay? Hold a call is, is field, uh, 10 coverage, 10 coverage, okay? Same, it's the same way. Same fits. Here we teach them the same drill, and the biggest thing we're trying to work on is just staying square. We talk to our players about our power. If you're going to be uh, making contact, you've got to have your toes pointing at what you are trying to hit. For so many times that we get going sideways, and somebody will hit us from the side and push us over. I want you two guys to sit here. I want you two guys to sit here. Ready with it? Stand, sit, go. Boom. Right there, drop. All right, back. Again, you won't hardly get out of there more than two or three steps. If you'll go, and when you go, if you Like I tell our linebackers, I said, you've got to find it and go get it. It's kind of like if you got in a car, you, you wouldn't just drive somewhere. You'd have a map in your mind of where you were going. A lot of times with young guys, they just want to take off going, and they don't know where they're going. Then they want to figure it out. So you got to find it and go get it.